Okay, so JavaScript suggestion actions enabled. Enable disable suggestion diagnostics for JavaScript files in the editor. Requires TypeScript 2.8 or newer in the workspace. So suggestion diagnostics. That's kind of a weird description. Uh, this just pertains to um, suggested, uh, uh, suggested actions in your file. So let me show you what this looks like. So, and, and by the way, uh, <laughs> you, you'll see this isn't working. I think this isn't working as it's supposed to. Anyway, um, we have this function here and uh, this setting pertains to this little light bulb, right? So you can either click the light bulb, you can uh, do command uh, dot or you can do shift control R. Um, even though they look the same, they don't really show the same options. So shift control R just shows you move to a new file and command dot shows you um, both, including convert to a sync function. Okay, so um, this setting pertains to uh, code actions that um, are very contextual. So move to a new file is something that you can do with any function, but convert to a sync function you can only do with certain functions. And there are, there are other kinds of code actions available uh, according to your context. So if you set this to true, you'll get that. If you set this to false, you will only have move to a new file, right? And um, not only that, and it, it doesn't really matter if you use command dot or um, you click the little light bulb. If you set it to true again, just be aware that um, the code actions that show up here, though they don't show up immediately, you actually have to reload your window for them to show up. And I'm going to enable screencast again, because that's useful for you. So uh, there we have it. We have convert to a sync function. And we can actually convert this to an uh, asynchronous function, like so. So this is a useful feature. Um, it's enabled by default. So I'm going to leave it uh, as is.